Hey guys, it's Edith here. Welcome to Modestly E. And I'm here with my sister. We're always doing sister sister videos. We like posting them on Sundays around 3 o'clock. Um, so if you do like our sister sister interaction, sister sister moments, do like, share, and subscribe. Also hit the notification button at the bottom next to subscribe and you'll always get a notification when we do post. Like I said, Sundays at 3, um, usually. <laughs> She has no idea what we're doing. I just called him like, hey, come join me on this video. We are doing the small YouTuber tag, also known as the new YouTuber tag. And essentially we answer about seven questions, Helen, about how we started YouTube and yada, yada, yada. So we'll get right into it. Many reasons. I like talking. I wanted a platform to talk to people and I just wanted to make my blog into a different things so three reasons okay you um i started making videos because i was looking for a hobby and so essentially i i started writing poems and then like on a blog that i had www.modestlye.com i'll put the link somewhere below for you guys and then i started writing like articles and i was like oh my gosh maybe i should just do videos as well to spread positivity and whatever I want to share with you guys. So yeah, that's how I got into it. Interesting. Uh, how long have I been on YouTube? I think I've been on for a year and a half, maybe? A year and a half? I'd say a year and a half. We didn't start at the same time? What year are we in? 2018? Yeah. Yeah, I've been on for a year. A year, like, yeah. yeah. Me too, so... Um, I, we started in like 2000, like the end of 2016. Yeah. So it's almost a year and some months, guys, okay? That, but, that some months doesn't really count. So let's <laughs> say a year. Exactly. So let's just say a year. And I didn't know. I didn't have any other China. Like, I have my own personal, like, you, Gmail account that goes on YouTube as well, but I don't have an actual channel. Did you? Mm, no. You have a secret channel I didn't know about? Yeah. It's called XXX. You're so ugly. <laughs> okay. I would like my YouTube channel, my social media platforms to be like a big place that young adolescents or people my age could go to and relate to. So I'd like it to be known among the young people in our society. So giving speeches, you know what I mean? Okay. Um, where do I see myself? Honestly. In five years? In five years. Yeah. Like, it's a crazy question because I like, I love dreaming, okay? And if this platform can grow into something that I don't even know, then I want it to grow beyond my wildest dreams. <laughs> like, what I'm trying to do is like spread positivity, put a little bit of entertainment in people's lives the best way I can, share with you my sister's sister um, life, <laughs> and you know, like, just self share self-development, my life experiences, and advice, and you know, those kind of things, and maybe go into vlogging. You're technically giving back to what YouTube gave to you. Exactly, you know what YouTube gave me, that's what I'm giving back. YouTube was for TV, and now she's making t YouTube TV for I mean, people. so in five years, like, whatever possibility, wherever God wants it to go, it's in his hands. Let his will take over. It's funny, because I kind of just answered that. <laughs> yeah, I think you just answered that, and for my videos, I really started off wanting to get across, like, Yo, there's people out there that got the same struggle as you, but now I'm leaning towards controversial topics, like taboo topics people don't want to talk about that we only keep with our friends. So my blog is more like young adolescents, things we can all relate to, and my YouTube is more like things we don't want to talk about. I'm gonna put it out there for all of us to talk about. You know what I mean? So okay, <laughs> what, what 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 do people not want to talk about? Let's see that in my next YouTube video. But my my previous YouTube video was 
why is it such a joke to date white people among like colored girls and a lot of people don't want to buzz these kind of jokes in a public place where other like where Caucasian men can hear that joke but I just felt like it was interesting to put it out there and see what they had to say so no kind of topics okay so she likes controversial stuff when I like just I like to just give it to you like real with lessons and advices and raw moments between my sister and I yeah. <laughs> yes yes <laughs> I'd be sitting in class and a classmate would be like by the way your YouTube video was so hilarious I'd be like okay <laughs> okay but yeah, they do, They I either give it to them or they find me, so. Yeah, but like you have your personal, yeah. like social media kind of integrated with Yeah, your... I, I integrated all my social media. I deleted my own personal Instagram, made, my, made a new Instagram for my YouTube and for myself. And I have like, I kind of promote on my Snapchat sometimes and Facebook and whatever, so. On the other hand, I have a problem. I have been hidden for the longest of whiles. And like honestly, I just recently, like a couple days ago, put my link, like my blog and my YouTube channel's link in my Facebook profile description. But I've been staying hidden for a while. But this morning, this like, was it this morning or yesterday? I I told her that after I post ten more videos on YouTube, uh. I will start sharing my videos on like with my friends and people that actually know me. Yeah. So, like I'm so scared like guys I have this the biggest fear I prefer people who don't know me to um, to see what I'm doing because they have no idea who I am whether they judge me or not like they haven't put me inside a box of who I am whereas I feel like people who know me have me in this box as you're this person and if I try going out of it I'm becoming somebody else or I'm just trying to be something I'm not and I don't know why but I have a big fear of that no no I, I had that thought as well especially it wasn't with my current friends it was with like the people I've gone to high school with and they know yeah. my shy side like, why are you trying to do that that's not you that's not a high school hell why are you the trying is, the thing is nobody knows nobody knows you I got I got different faces I'm, I got different exactly I'm, a, I'm an, I'm an all-around person I got different sides and and I think as soon as you start sharing it on different platforms and your old friends or your older friends sees that because I know one of my friends they saw it and they're like wow hell I didn't see, like your confidence is gone I didn't see you doing this so amazing so I feel like as you put yourself out there people like it's just a fear we have in our head people don't actually react like that they do they don't talk and they don't talk so thank you <laughs> <laughs> okay I'm just I've just been really hush hush about it and yeah but I'm, I'm slowly learning to or trying to integrate it. I mean, if I wanted to grow, then I guess yeah. I need to share for the world to see and not be shy. I can just... It's gonna happen one day, it's okay. Anyway, after 10 videos, guys. <laughs> my username or my YouTube name? Yeah, it's a username. Aqua Mode. I explained this in my first video. Aqua Mode is... My Aqua is my middle name. I can I spell it for them. A K U A. So it's my Ghanaian name, Akia, which means Wednesday. And then I have Mode, which is like lifestyle. So it's technically my name and most of my lifestyle. But why Wednesday? I was born on Wednesday. Oh, because they don't know. You just said um, Wednesday. I took, I just chose Wednesday and Mode. No, no, it's my middle name because I was born on Wednesday. And so it's my lifestyle. It's Helen's, Akia's lifestyle, whatever. Okay. So I chose modestly E um, because <laughs> I remember it took me forever to come up with the name. She went it always a, takes me forever. She had a lot of like slogans or names growing up. Diamond Beauty. No, I'm not talking about my names growing up. I'm talking about my YouTube channel. Okay, so modestly E, um, I chose it because. Um, I felt like I wanted something that represented me, but wasn't necessarily fully me. Like I was, I was trying to stay hidden, right? So I didn't want to use my full name. Um, I didn't want to use my name Edith, but I knew I wanted my like the E in there. So modestly E, modestly me. <laughs> I'm humbly gonna be me, humbly myself, just showing you who I am, putting myself out there, 
but so I chose modestly not necessarily it wasn't necessarily like modestly as in fashion but I was just saying like humbly me humbly Edith right yeah. does that make sense to you guys yeah it makes sense makes sense and it's definitely her yeah and also she could be a okay. diva but it's definitely her I mean, you could be a modest you could, she could you could be a modest diva yeah it's definitely her <laughs> I could so. be a modest diva okay Okay, so as of right now, the I have a couple of people that I'm feeling right now. Um, okay, guys, we're like all going on to our YouTube. Hold on. <laughs> I have made a playlist where I keep adding YouTubers that just make me go, oh my goodness. I really, really do um, like them. And some YouTubers are, I'm just like if you go on my playlist, you'll see it. You'll see it there. But I'll just name some of them on the list. There's Marissa Tassone. I hope I said her name right. I just love watching her face. She's so angelic. She's so beautiful and interesting. So there's her. I love her videos. Um, there's also Moira Motivation. Oh, oh my gosh. I was going to mention her. Guys, good morning. <laughs> Okay. That thing is life. Oh, I know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. It's the way she starts her video. It just gives you life. Hey guys. I just love the way she she just starts her videos. Do She's check good. her out. She's really good. I was gonna mention her as well. She's all about positivity. There's also um, that bold life. I like him. He's like a Christian channel where he puts all these Christian, he discuss all these Christian topics. And yeah, I really, really like him. And there's these new ones that I just, just found. Spill the tea. They're entertaining, guys. <laughs> I think they're entertaining. I think they have like a podcast um, that they're working on as well. So I'm just gonna put their, their YouTube channel's name below. There's I Am Sasha. Um, there's Queenie K, where, which she's all about natural hair. Um, these are my currently small, my favorite small YouTubers. Like, there's so many people out there, guys. It's crazy. There's people who are doing their thing, who are doing well. But just go into that playlist. If you're looking for small YouTubers, I'm always adding people. Who are yours? There's this... Um there's this, I'm not, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm really not, I don't know how to find these small YouTubers, so I really subscribe to the big YouTubers, but I'm really trying to subscribe to the small ones. Um, but there's this one girl who's very active on my, my YouTube, which makes me more active on hers, because she's always popping up, is Z Sakira. Oh, I've seen her! Yeah. She's been popping up, yeah, she's, you can subscribe! She, like... Girl, you're doing good, keep it up, I love your channel, I love how active you are. And this Cassandra Jolie, that is her, yeah, Cassandra Jolie. I don't want to call her a really small YouTuber, but she's kind of new. And she has 500 or something subscribers, so she's kind of new. And I really like, she's a Christian artist, a, a Christian YouTuber who gives her perspective on Christianity and her life in Christianity. And I like her perspective, I think, because it's not the same as other Christians. And yeah, those are my two favorite as of right now. Guys, there's also my sister's channel that I, I didn't say. Aquamo, but she mentioned it. Another one of my small favorite YouTubers. There's my girl, Thiv Marie. I'll put her down below. Check her out, too. She's all about the makeup. She's really good, so check her out. And that's the end of the tag. Do you have anything Wait, to say? Another small YouTuber. Another small YouTuber that's all about happiness as well. But just not like how you're doing it, like little chit chats. It's just more like providing entertainments of what they see in life. Mm -hmm. It's Alex and Lily. So, oh, you guys should go check that out. I'll give her the link. See, I'm even learning new stuff from her. Like, I, I have like a bunch of people that she's saying I've never heard before. So, I'll go check them out as well. And thank you for watching, guys. If you do like videos like these, do comment below. Do like, share, subscribe. And, um... Follow me. Follow me. Don't forget. <laughs> follow me. Follow her. Right. All my links will be down below. All her information will be below, somewhere around her face. And comment below who you like, your new, small YouTubers that you like. I think they're gonna be like between us, so they're gonna be like, I didn't know this was a competition. No, 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 there's no competition. Just do comment below who you like, and thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day. Bye.